To the youth of Ghana, I say, I understand your frustration and your disillusionment. Many of you are feeling very frustrated. I can relate to the recent cynicism and massive mistrust you have in our body politics because the current government has been undeserving of your trust. The challenges of today might seem insurmountable, but I urge you to look beyond the present and dream with me of a reset Ghana, the Ghana we all want, where your talents and hard work will determine your success. I promise a Ghana where you are not sidelined, but at the forefront of change, where you can live happy lives and still achieve your optimum potential. This is not just a promise, it's a commitment. I will reset the economy and Ghana will be open for business for 24 hours a day. <clears throat> Leadership is about vision. And the 24-hour economy is the vision to create decent and well-paying jobs. When I talk about the 24-hour economy, we need to understand the underlying vision behind that policy. The 24-hour economy is the means to an end, and the end is putting Ghana on a solid foundation for accelerated growth and development. We need to attain the growth rhythm that will turn our country into a developed economy and eliminate the abject levels of poverty we are witnessing today. An economy that will manufacture many of its needs, including food and beverages, drugs, clothing, and more, such that we can address the exchange rate volatilities due to needless imports. The world is moving very fast. We need to keep up with this new rhythm. So first think of the 24-hour economy as an accelerator the best accelerator or catalyst we could possibly have. A 24-hour economy will increase the production and distribution of goods and services and accelerate the economic exchanges between people and companies. And with that, we will start growing at an unprecedented pace while providing decent jobs for our young people. As I've said, leadership is about vision, and I stand by it. But leadership is also about caring. It's about giving people genuine, solid hope. And this is what the 24-hour economy is really about. And let me explain further. The 24-hour economy is a solid way to replace imports with homegrown production of goods. And thus create a solid base for a vibrant Ghanaian industry. In many instances, we don't import goods because they are better than what we produce. We import them because nobody produces them here in Ghana in the first place, or because our local production is insufficient. Therefore, the stimulus packages for companies wanting to participate in the 24-hour economy will convince businesses, and I'm sure of it, to start producing import substitutes. And do you know why? Because the market for such products already exists. If the market did not exist, we'll not be importing to satisfy demand. And so through the 24-hour economy, businesses will be incentivized to start produ producing for this market. It is the simplest way to start growing sustainably. And when this begins to happen, imagine the number of new jobs that will be created. And here's another thing about the 24-hour economy. It will boost exports. Many Ghanaian companies still will start looking for foreign partners to develop their businesses to take advantage of the new opportunities available to them via this policy. Indeed, thanks to the African continental free trade area, these partnerships will open new foreign markets to Ghanaian companies. And goods produced in Ghana will then be exported to other parts of our continent, to Asia, to Europe, or North America, using the connections of these foreign partners that we have had. And as I've said before, I will personally chair an accelerated exports development program that will, de that will identify and promote exports in the manufacturing, agricultural products, textiles, food and beverages, pharmaceuticals, and the extractive sectors. 
It is important to understand that the 24-hour economy will generate a network of foreign markets for Ghanaian entrepreneurs and will transform Ghana into an export-led economy. So I say that the 24-hour economy is also about national pride. It is about creating jobs through enhanced productivity, connecting Ghana with the wider world, and making companies proud of what they can accomplish here. Once the policy is set in motion, the rhythm of growth will start to accelerate exponentially, and Ghana will be open for business again. This initiative will anchor my determination to change the structure of the Ghanaian economy through the active support of private sector-led growth. And so be assured that the 24-hour economic policy initiative is a well-thought-through, data-driven, evidence-based, and comprehensive policy to expand critical and strategic segments of our economy sustainably, and it will liberate Ghana from the shackles of unemployment and economic dependence. 